we have already uploaded a video on how to prepare snails for cooking. Today, we are going to show you how to cook them with pork. Cooking snails is a lengthy process and my friend Albert is here to share with us his favourite recipe. Cut the pork into medium sized pieces. Half a kilo of pork is more than enough for 1.5 kilos of snails. Transfer them into a pressure cooker. Add salt, black pepper powder and then a decent amount of water. Cook till the pork is tender. The second step is the most crucial part of cooking snails. Transfer the snails into a preheated pan. The heat drains out all the flit inside snails' bodies. They are to be cooked till all the flit is dried up. This is done to remove the peculiar muddy smell of snails. Now it's all dried and cooked. As it's done, set it aside. The third step is the gravy. The most important part of the gravy is lokle, or the rhizome of ginger lily. It's used to decoct the essence of the snakes. After removing the hard leaves and peeling, slice them or chop them. Now boil one or two medium-sized potatoes. Pull red chilies according to your taste and the chopped locally. Cover the pot with a bowl or a plate. Put some washed ngari or fermented fish and cover it up with another bowl or plate. As the, as the ingredients get cooked, the fish will get steamed simultaneously. It saves time and fuel. When it's cooked, drain the water and transfer it into a big bowl. Add some salt and crush the chilies along with it. And then the ngari. When the paste is ready, mix the rest of the ingredients together. Add some water and mix again such that the mixture is neither too thin nor too thick. Please do remove the stubborn chili flakes. Now it's time for the final step. For this, we need a handful of mukthrubi or Sichuan pepper leaves because snail curry is incomplete without their aroma. Be careful not to hurt yourself with the thorns. Chop them up. Heat cooking oil in a pot. Fry one bay leaf torn up into pieces. Add onions and stir. Don't forget to leave a few slices of onions though. Then add garlic and cook till it's golden brown. Add the snails cooked earlier. Make sure to stir constantly so that the snails are coated evenly with the oil. After a few minutes, pour in the potato and look like gravy.
forgot, what I forgot. Add some ginger paste. Add a portion of the chopped mukturi leaves and our fatigum or cilantro, which I forgot to mention earlier. Now add the pork along with its gravy. Let it come to a boil. Salt need not be added anymore because it had already been added during the preparation of the gravy and the pork separately. However, you can check and add if you want. Cook for another 5 to 10 minutes before adding the final garnish. That is, the leftover onion slices, mutrubi leaves, and awafatikum. The aroma was so strong that my crew jumped in to eat right after the flame was out.